Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. This is our coffee time, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday. Um, I'm really excited because we are going to do another Cafe Brit, which is from Costa Rica. Uh, this is a wonderful, uh, I don't know, bean. I, I just think Cafe Brit is probably one of the finest coffee um, producers I've ever encountered, and so anytime I can enjoy it, I um, am really excited. This is my last Cafe Brit um, sample for this show, unless we pick up any more. Um, you can order them online, but uh, can't buy them anywhere in the States that I know of, unless you find some sort of specialty store. So this is their espresso, Cafe Brit espresso. Uh, it's 100% Arabica, 100% Arabica. It's a rather dark, um, roast. They do a 1 through 10 scale and this is an 8 so it's it's rather dark and it is also um, finely grind. It's pre-ground for espresso. Um, and as I said this is from Costa Rica and so this is still piping hot. Just made it and as you can see that color is just a gorgeous dark thick um, black almost uh, I don't know. Almost syrupy. It's so rich. It's got a nice espresso um, smell to it. A little bit of that uh, almost burnt woody uh, aroma to it, but it's uh, it's definitely um, kind of chocolatey. I uh, picking up slight hints of citrus. But it's definitely um, a heavy dose uh, espresso. Unfortunately, I don't really tend to drink espresso at night and it is nighttime. So I've had a really long day. I'm super tired and I want to go to bed, but I really wanted to get this episode out for you guys. Um, it's Tuesday night and this goes out on Wednesday. So I still need to uh, edit it and everything. And so unfortunately, <laughs> this might keep me up a bit. It's also a little bit still too hot to uh, drink. Yeah, way too hot. My glass is just fogged up. Uh, and I made a full pot, so I might have to call Cody up and see if he wants to come up and have some espresso. Otherwise, I might go ahead and store it in the refrigerator for a cold brew. Cold brew espresso. Uh, this really smells good. But this is definitely not a morning um, coffee. For me, it's not. I, I like my coffee, my espressos. I have a mocha pot at work. Um, and I'm like the toast of the town because every time I make it, people show up. But I do my espresso right around 2 o'clock. I feel like I'm almost English where I have that tea time at 2 o'clock. It's espresso time. Very rich, very um, flavorful on the tongue. A little bit of acidic-ness that it comes with it. Usually when I have espresso, I do a sugar cube um, or uh, sugar in the raw is what I prefer. Sugar in the raw, but I didn't get any out. I do have a sugar cube in the uh, bar mini fridge. So I'll probably finish this off with that sugar cube, but Piping hot, really good, great flavors. If you ever get a chance to get your hands on Brit, Cafe Brit, B-R-I-T-T, -T, you should. This runs you about anywhere from eight American uh, dollars to 12 to 15, depending on, they have uh, so many varieties. Not just Costa Rican. Uh, Cafe Brit does, uh, I think some Guatemalan and stuff like that, but this is, uh, they, Cafe Brit actually has huge coffee plantation in Costa Rica. Um, so it's going straight from the farm in Costa Rica to the bag where most people, I would assume, um, don't own the farms that their coffee's coming in. They buy them wholesale bulk and then they, um, roast them. They actually have them. And if you've ever been to Costa Rica, it's a wonderful thing to see the coffee plantations and, and check them out, take tours of them, kind of like you do a whiskey 
um, distilleries or wineries, they have coffee tours. I think this one, the espresso, was probably about eight bucks um, American. And you can order online. I don't know what the shipping fee is or anything. I haven't. I'm tempted to uh, just to try it out. It's just, I think it'd be more convenient to order in bulk and we're not ready to do that because we have so much other coffee. But once I'm out of coffee, uh, completely with all of the stuff I get on travels, I might um, try it. Speaking of travels, um, I'm really hoping the pandemic ends because I really need to get back to Europe and pick up some stuff. I want to get to the UK, to Scotland and do some tours and, and stuff. It's been uh, far too long since I was in Scotland last. And it's been a couple of years since I was in London and uh, South England, so I'd be like, I'd like to get back to there. My kids are moving there on Saturday. Unfortunately, we can't go with them, but they're uh, having job placement, so they're actually moving to uh, South England, um, just north of uh, London. So really excited that I can use their place as a base of operations to get out. But I am traveling next week, um, this weekend. Uh, my wife and I are headed to Tennessee for the whiskey tours of um, several distilleries in Memphis and uh, Nashville, Lynchburg, and Gatlinburg, and Pigeon Forge area. So hopefully next week, um, or when I get back, because I'll be gone a whole week, almost nine days, um, I'll have a whole bunch of new whiskeys for you. And my wife says that we will be looking for some new coffee since we're coming to an end. I think we got about 14 coffee samples left, so that's about 14 weeks. Um, that goes pretty quick. All right, so if you have tried Brick Coffee, let us know what you think, what your favorite um, variation of Brick Coffee there is. Uh, any other Costa Rican, Guatemalan, Nicaraguan, El Salvador, Belize, um, that's Panama, they're all coffee regions. Tell us what we should try. Um, check out all of our other videos, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Uh, Mondays is oddities. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are whiskeys. Wednesdays is normally coffee, but next week we're going to kind of switch it up because there's a holiday that falls on Wednesday. So next week's coffee will be on Friday. And then, of course, Fridays are cocktail hours. And uh, Cody and I got together and made some really cool cocktails. And of course, since I'm leaving, we pre-filmed several. So uh, I already know what you're going to watch. So. <laughs> All right, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And Brick Coffee, one of my favorites. Cheers, y'all.